Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Archaea TV. Another quick game of Interplanetary I Spy going on here. Excuse my voice, I do have a cold at the moment. Uh, so if I start coughing and stuff, don't panic. It's just a cold. Uh, we're back at Sol 1429. I found a few things in this recently. I've been going back over some of these slightly older ones. And 1429 is an interesting Sol to look at, so I do recommend it. And this is just such an image right here. Uh, we have what looks like some possible buildings at the back here and we have a very strange rock here and also what looks to be some petrified wood here in the foreground okay so we have three possible anomalies here well at least one of them is um interesting right so without further ado i'll show you the folder i've got it here i'll show you my enhanced no let me show you the raw image first actually there we go as it comes now straight away when i looked at this i spotted this in front it's very bright material, it looks like a petrified log. And in fact, uh, the, the thing above it here looks rather interesting. It's got strange teeth on it. And a lot of these rocks have to seem to have sort of interesting nodules on them, okay? And I, I really do think that some of these aren't just rocks. I actually think that these were underwater, a lot of these things, and they were probably covered in barnacles. And maybe some of these things are small shellfish that are on here that once lived. And this was an interesting one because it seems to have a head sticking up with eyes or nodules on it. Very weird indeed. Also, at the back here, you have this, these strange dome-like structures with a building just here. You can see that building? Got a, got a white sort of lighter area there. Hard to see, I know, very long way off. And some of that may be down to pixelation and image damage. So, obviously, I enhanced it, enlarged it, and smoothed it out a bit and tried to get rid of some of the JPEG crap that you get when they, when they downsize these images. And the wood really stands out now. This looks like wood. So you have a, a petrified log here. Possibly, may not be of course. It could be very, very fine layers of, of mudstone. But it is a kind of different to all the other rock in the area. So, and it's much finer. Uh, the grain to it is much, much finer than you would expect to see in, in rock, okay? And then you have this weird thing here, covered in nodules and teeth. Very interesting, that looks like something interesting, and looks like it may have been joined to this thing here, which I think is very interesting. It seems to have eyes and, and nodules all over it. Very strange indeed. Um, could that be coral that once grew on there? Could it be small shellfish? Could this thing on top be some kind of fossilized creature? Could it be some kind of carving? Don't know. Um, I'll show you a better enhancement of that in a second. And then we look at the back here and we have a dome and a structure here next to it, like a, a whitish structure. Okay, so let me show you the clips of those very quickly. Oh, and also, there is this thing uh, on, the, on if we look up here, now this is very vague because it's in shadow, um, but there's a wheel just here, inside or just below this rock outcrop here, this rocky outcrop. You've got another rock covered in nodules here, which may well be coral. Um, and then you have this outcrop, uh, but the, the image has been really badly damaged. You can see all these compression lines coming through here, going right through the middle of this thing, and it looks like a wheel, okay? So that's gonna take that, well, it did take a little bit of work to try and pull that out. I'll show you the, the clip. Now, if you get too close to this, it doesn't actually help. You can see the wheel shape there with a cross going through it, okay? like a cog, perhaps. There I've really brightened it up. You can see the shape of it there. Now, of course, being in shadow, you're never going to get a great deal of detail from it, okay? In fact, that's probably about as good as it gets why I've enhanced it there. You can see the wheel, but it's in heavy shadow. The image has been very badly compressed down and destroyed a lot of the shadowy, uh, shadowy details, okay? Which is probably exactly why they do it, okay? Now, the buildings in the background, let me show you those. Now, of course, this looks vague, I know, but you can just about make out what looks like a dome here, okay? A dome with a straight edge to it, okay? And this very uh, rectilinear, and well, there's a right angle there. I mean, what, what else can I say? And when you enhance it, it really stands out, okay? I mean, that may be partially due to pixelation there, because it's a very long way off. But it looks like a dome, there's a dome like structure and it looks like a building what else can i say um 
And we do know there are buildings on Mount Sharp, but usually it is miles away from the rover, usually about between two and four miles away, depending on where the rover is exactly. And let me show you this thing, because I, I'm, this is the thing that really got my imagination. Now, it's probably my paranoia playing up here, but it seems to have like a eyes up here. Four eyes, one, two, three, four. Now, I couldn't tell you what this is. Don't know. But it looks like it's some kind of sea creature or something. Okay. There's the enhancement. Now, I don't, I don't know how many enhancements I did of that. I think I... Uh, M4, that's probably the last one. Okay, here's the last one. And you've got what they're like, eyes and a beak. Some more eyes here, and you've got all these nodules down here. Now, this I appreciate this may just be a rock, but it looks to me like some kind of shellfish on here. Possibly. Uh, possibly some kind of uh, alien coral or something. And this may have been a shell of a creature. Um, like some kind of clam or some kind of mussel or some kind of weird sea creature. Who's to say? I don't know, but it does to me look very odd. And uh, when I initially saw it, I thought it might be carved because it looks kind of like a, almost like a head, but not really. So answers on the postcard as usual, guys. Don't really know what to call this one. Um, but the other objects certainly look clear enough, I think, to, to say, even in the raw image, if you look at this here, that looks like petrified wood. And it's a much finer grain than, than most of the, the rock here, which is multiple layers of mudstone, okay? This doesn't look like mudstone to me. That looks like petrified wood. So I may put in some comparative images as well. And as for these domes in the background, they're really interesting. This one here. And you can see it better from further back. You can see there's a dome there, okay? With a straight edge, a very straight corner to it just there. Okay, so there we have it. Um, multiple things in this image. The wheel, not too sure about. It's in very heavy shadow. May not be, but it certainly looks intriguing. I would love to see this area in, in a full high-res TIFF image, which they do put out, which JPL do put out occasionally, about once every couple of months, they put out a nice, one or two nice big TIFF panoramics, you know, where you get real proper detail. But even those now seem to be losing resolution. They used to be 200 uh, pixels per inch. Now they're chucking them out at 72 pixels per inch, you know, which I think is not good enough. Uh, if you're going to look at backgrounds, the stuff on the mountain, you want the full 200 PPI or more if possible. Okay, so let's hope they put out some really good high, high pixel TIFFs soon of this area because I really want a close look at some of this stuff. Okay, so if there's any of you guys at JPL listening, I know some of you do watch this channel, uh, bear that in mind. We want some more high res TIFF images, uh, deep zoom panoramics of Mount Sharp, please because we know there are buildings up there and you know there are buildings up there also. And we know you know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm starting to sound like Donald Rumsfeld. Right, okay, thanks for watching everybody. See you soon.